Well, um, just really, really proud of our, our guys. What a great night for uh, uh, Detroit basketball. Um, the uh, Dick Vitale court dedication, special, special night. Uh, brought a lot of enthusiasm to the building. Um, and I'm just proud that our guys were able to feed off of the emotion of the, the day, of the event, of the ceremony. I wanted our guys out there to see that and experience and learn about the, the, the history of U of D basketball. And uh, I thought it carried over to the game. Uh, our best first half of the year. Uh, we had had trouble taking care of the basketball. We had three turnovers the first half. It was great to go into the locker room and with the double figure lead and, and, and talk about how we value the basketball. So that was a, that was a good thing. And uh, we knew they were making a run in the second half. And we just talked about getting enough rebounds, which we, we've had trouble uh, rebounding the ball and, and closing out the game by taking care of the ball, continue to stay aggressive attack, and, and, and make our free throws. And uh, so it was a, it was a great, uh, great effort and a great team win uh, for us, uh, and a win that we, that we really needed. Ray, can you talk a little bit about it, Coach, how, how you compensated the way St. John's dominated the boards when you guys made such a big attempt to protect the ball? Well, it's just something that we really emphasized, and uh, I think this is our third game in, in, in five or six days. Um, and the guys came out uh, yesterday in practice after a tough conference game on Saturday, and, and we moved the ball, and bodies moved like we haven't moved all year. And it was really good to see they understood what we had to do, and we went out and executed. And, uh, it, it was really good to see. So from a coaching standpoint, we really feel great about what we saw. And to get to win, uh, and a win, a hard fought win, we needed all nine guys tonight. And uh, our bench was a positive. Ray Michael, you uh, kind of let the game come to you in the last seven or eight minutes when you needed the points. Just talk about how you were able to function within the offense and, and just be smooth with everything. Um, uh, after I had like two turnovers, uh, he took me out, um, and I mean, honestly, like he was kind of upset. Like, I thought he was gonna ground me after that. And I, when I came back in the game, he just told me to play smart and uh, just control the game. And when he sat me down, I got a chance to really just kind of see the game. And then when I got in, I saw opportunities for uh, to finish, make plays, and just really value the basketball at the end of the game. Uh, the past uh, previous games, I uh, had some. Uh, key turnovers towards the end of the game, which uh, cost my team a loss. And uh, I didn't want to do that again, so I just um, straight to stay composed and just try to, try to keep a slow-paced game and just I let the game come to me towards the end of the game and um, you see that the victory. Can each of you talk about how you took advantage of this night in terms of, you know, the energy with the crowd, a little bit like Coach talked about, so I guess both players, um, you know, a lot of people here and, you know, you gave him something to cheer about. Well, I, I think, you know, Chase has been around for, you know, four years now. And uh, we've, we've had a lot of opportunities. Um, I don't know, this may be a, the biggest. I mean, what do you have to say about that, Chase? Did you feel the energy out there, uh, Chase? And like Coach said, did, you know, that, did that turn, you know, before the game, everybody's pumped up? Did, I mean, did that translate to you, you know, getting off to that quick start? Yeah, most definitely. The energy, you know, really kind of got us pumped. You know, we didn't want to let everybody down. You know, was, Big Vitale came out with that kid, the court from him. I mean, everybody came to, to see UD basketball play, you know. So um, we, just, we just, just told ourselves we need to play hard and, you know, we just need to turn things around. And I think. You know, from the practice that we had, you know, two days before, you know, that really helped us and, you know, went into the game. We just stayed in play hard, and, you know, just came out to me. Ray, you got to get um, rebounding effort from Doug. Yeah, I think eight tonight. You need that more because you're the key lineup. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, Doug, Doug brings a, a lot of great energy to us. I mean, he can block shots. He can go in the crowd and, and uh, you know, get spectacular rebounds when we need them. And, you know, his effort plays are, are, are contagious for us. And so we need him to 
play like he's like he's been playing uh, the last couple games, and he's still adjusting to to the D1 level, but uh, he's moving at a great pace. You got to experience much of <clears throat> today with take by tap. So what does it mean for you personally to experience today? Did you gather anything out of your experiences this afternoon? With all the and stuff. You, you know, for me, uh, the former players and the guys in the Dick Vitale era was around my time. So I, I've watched those guys play. I, I, I knew them from when they were playing here, and, and, and followed them. Um, and um, what what's happened, Terry, is since from the first time I arrived, uh, those guys have embraced me. You know, as the coach of U of D, and been very supportive. Uh, and uh, I, I think there's a, a friendship and a bondship, a, a relationship there that has been real positive. So, you know, when we're over at that, uh, 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 at the dedication um, at the, at the, uh, at the club, it, it was just, I mean, it was great to be back with those guys and see them excited about coming back. I think that tells you a lot about what Dick meant to them and their time at UAD uh, for all of them to come back and, uh, and, and be a part of it. Those are very vocal guys, and they have passion about the program, too. Did they ever tell you to try to bring back the Dickie D era? Did they try to tell you to do it your own way? Or have you got a message from them? You, you know what? Is that uh, from the kind of people they are, uh, they, were, they were great players, but they were very passionate about playing the game. Uh, and you can look at the longevity of their careers. I mean, guys playing double-figure years at the next level and, and, and beyond. Uh, that's the thing is, at that time, they were blue-collar, hard-working, committed to being the best they could be. And uh, they were very passionate about that time, and they were fighting for respect. And they, they got it, they earned it. And, uh, you know, it, it's just a reminder of, you know, what it's all about and what why it turned around for them, because they wanted it so bad. So. Uh, from a passion standpoint, I mean, I know, and uh, they're pulling for us, and they want us to, to, you know, to do it like they did. Ray, Dick um, kind of spoke to the team before, mm -hmm. and he just talked a little bit about what he said. Um, he, he really talked about uh, playing together as a team, and uh, I think that was something that we needed to hear. Not saying we don't play together as a team, I think we, we do, but um, just hearing it from someone with, um, his knowledge of the game and his experience. I, I think it, every player really paid attention to everything he said. He talked about playing together as a team, really talked about making an extra pass. And I think everything that he said to us today, we, we kind of did in the game. And it was, kinda, it was more of a uh, giving us some knowledge of the game and uh, just helping us in life with his speech. But it was also kind of to me like a little game plan for the night. And um, we got to ask him some questions about the, um, their team because you know, he's done a couple of games. He didn't give anything away, so he just told us that they're a strong, athletic, quick team. We've got to come to play. And I think that's what we did. And, um, we jumped on the road, and, and I think his speech did help us tonight. Not a good start for you guys, 3-6, and six coming in here. Does this one game help you turn the corner, so to speak? Or is it, you know, a lot more work to do? Or, or is this something you were looking for, something maybe to jumpstart your team? Um, I mean, it was it's a great win for us. It's a huge win for us um, to beat a Big East team. But uh, we, 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 like we, like you said, we came out to a slow start, we in six. But um, I think we just got to build on this win and, and just try to turn around and start winning again. Um, Any other questions for Coach?